All right, so this is the much anticipated pump video. I promised y'all I'd make a video about the pump. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, my wife did the research on it since she's the aquarium guru. She looked at um, what a lot of other people had used. And uh, this one certainly jumped out as having decades of good performance. And uh, hang on, I'm gonna have to turn my water off. Yeah, hold on, just a second, let me get this turned off. I overran one of my totes earlier filling it up. I don't want to do that again on a waste water. Um, okay, so this one jumped out as having, like I said, decades of good performance reviews. And the number one thing that we really like about it is it's fully rebuildable. So you can get all of the components that you need to to rebuild this pump. And what we'll probably do is have uh, one, if not two, complete rebuild kits uh, with us on the shelf. Uh, you know, last thing you want to have happen is this thing goes out and your whole system shuts down and it's, you know, you're having problems. Uh, you're going to have fish start dying real quick and you don't want that. So, uh, we'll have at least one or two rebuild kits available at all times. But uh, this thing, like I said, decades of uh, performance. People really, really like them. They have the same old pump. And what's funny is, I mean, this paint color, come on. I think it looks like it was built in the 70s. Maybe it was. Who knows? Maybe it's that good of a pump. But anyway, I'm real excited about it. The ratings on it, if I recall what she told me, um, I want to say 3,400 PSI on the smaller impeller. 40, or Sorry, not PSI. 3,400 gallons per hour on the smaller impeller. 4,300 on the bigger impeller. And that's, of course, at zero head height. Your flow rates drop as your head height gets higher. We're going to have oh roughly four feet of actual hydrostatic um, and just a couple of elbows in between so really not a whole lot of pressure drops it'll actually be valved back and what's interesting about this it says on the directions it can be valved back meaning putting back pressure on the pump and that makes it actually use less power and be more efficient which as an engineer that doesn't make sense to me but I'm not the pump manufacturer so maybe it has an internal clutch or something don't quote me on that I don't know uh, but anyway, two inch threaded inlet, inch and a half threaded outlet, and guess what? I don't have the parts for it. When I was at uh, the hardware store and I was buying all the PVC parts, we didn't have this pump yet, and so I didn't even think about buying elbows and fittings for it. But I need uh, a couple of elbows, and uh, I don't. I don't think I have even the inch and a half stuff at all, so might stop on the way home and have to get that stuff. But I wanted to show this to you guys just because I promised it to you. Um, good looking little pump, and it will go over here under the barrels. Of course, you can't see, but we cut a hole back. When you look up on top of the barrels, you can see the diamond shape between the barrels. There's a round hole we cut. Goes right down underneath. Oh, and we will build. Oh, it's dark under there, huh? Let me get a flashlight. Uh -huh. Just kidding, I don't have a flashlight. Um, anyway, it'll go underneath here. We've got. So the pump will just go you know, down in this space underneath, and then we'll run it up back there in the corner and across the top of the windows and have um, you know, just a simple discharge line coming down into each tank. In the future, we might put some grow beds or something up there, uh, some floating rafts or something. Say hi. See? See y'all? Y'all get to see me in the mirror. The, the elusive man behind the camera. There I am. Not the mirror the window. Anyway, uh, that's it. Like I said, I'm going to cut off for tonight, but I just wanted to show you that cool little pump. I'm excited to have it, and I uh, really hope it works good.